for question B, you are asked to calculate the amount that ABC traders pay per NCD in the secondary market on 20 April 2012. Now the formula to calculate the price in the secondary market is this formula. Price is equal to maturity value divided by, in brackets, 1 plus the interest rate at which it trades in the secondary market times N. I'm going to rewrite the formula. Its price is equal to maturity value divided by 1 plus the interest rate times N. Right. Now, we don't know what the maturity value of this instrument is because we first have to calculate it. We know what the interest rate is at which it trades in the secondary market. That is the 11%. And we also know the number of days left to maturity when it trades in the secondary market. Um, that is 41. Therefore, we know that this N is going to be 41 divided by 365. Right. But we first have to calculate the maturity value. Now, the formula to calculate the maturity value is maturity value is equal to nominal value times in brackets 1 plus interest rate times N. I'm going to rewrite it here. Maturity value is equal to the nominal value times in brackets 1 plus interest rate times N. Right, now here we are going to use the interest rate at which it was issued. In other words, the interest rate for the primary market, which is 13%. And we're going to use the number of days that was left until maturity when it was issued. In other words, N is going to be 91 days divided by 365. So always, when you calculate maturity value of an interest add-on instrument, you use the interest rate at which it was issued in the primary market, and you use the number of days that was left until maturity when it was first issued, in other words, in the primary market. So let's replace those amounts in this formula. We know that the nominal value of the instrument is 5 million. So it's 5 million times 1 plus the interest rate at which it was issued, 13% or 0, 0,13. And N, as we said, is the number of days left to maturity when it was issued in the primary market that you used there. So 91 divided by 365. You're going to have to use a calculator to calculate, do this calculation. Um, so you first do the section in brackets. So it's going to be 5 million times 1 plus 0, 0,13 times 91 divided by 365. And that is going to give you 0, 0,03. Two, four, one. When you do that calculation, therefore you're going to say it's five million times one comma zero three two four one. So you do that calculation on your calculator, five million times one comma zero three two four one, and that is going to give you five million. 162,054 rand and 79 cents and when you round that your answer is going to be 5162055 when you round it to the closest rand. Right, so now we have calculated the maturity value of this 
NCD. That is the amount that whoever holds it on the maturity date will receive. But what we actually want to calculate is the price at which it trades in the secondary market. So I'm going to rewrite that formula here. The price is equal to the maturity value divided by 1 plus I times N. Right, now here we're going to use the maturity value that we calculated. We are going to use the interest rate at which it trades in the secondary market. In other words, 11%. And we're going to use um, the number of days that was left to maturity when it traded in the secondary market to calculate N. In other words, 41 divided by 365. So re let's replace that into the formula. It is 5162055 is the maturity value divided by, in brackets, 1 plus I is the interest rate in the secondary market and N is the portion of the year that was left to maturity when it traded in the secondary market. Right, so once again, you're first going to have to calculate the amount in brackets using your calculator. So it's 5162055 divided by, do this calculation, 0, 0,11 times 41 divided by 365 and that gives you 0, 0,012356 that you have to add to 1 so it's 5162055 that is going to be divided by 1,012356 three five six and that is going to give you five one six two zero five five divided by one comma zero one two three five six that is going to give you five zero nine nine zero five one comma one two and if you round that to the closest rand it's five zero nine nine 051. So this amount is going to be the amount that will be paid by ABC traders when this instrument is bought in the secondary market on the, what is the date at which it is sold? It is sold on the 20th of April 2012. 5,099,000 and 5,099,051 rand.